All right, this is 48 Conclay, and I have here today my Gen 4 Glock 29. Uh, it is chambered in 10 millimeter, and I'm going to be shooting these 180 grain Freedom Munition loads. Uh, from what I've read, I think they're they go around like 1150 feet per second or something. Kind of just your run of the mill 10 millimeter. Not quite downloaded to like a 40 Smith and Wesson. Smith & Wesson pressure, but uh, it's a little bit more potent. Uh, and I'm going to be shooting at uh, this, which I've shot at in other videos. With uh, I shot it with a 380. Uh, but then I didn't make many videos of it, but I just shoot it with a shotgun slug and uh, and some 22s. You can see there, that's a shotgun slug right there. That's a big, big hole. Uh, it stopped it all. Uh, today I'm just going to shoot it with the uh, 10 millimeter and see what it does to it. All right, let's get started. All righty, I got the uh, uh, Kevlar up here, mounted on a little old helium tank here, and I'm gonna take a shot. See what we got here. Oh, well, it looks like I got a hit here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go off camera here for a second and get this disconnected from the tank. All right, as you can see here, there's a huge dent. Uh, I should have taken a picture of the tank before, um, but that is the uh, force that was exerted on the tank through the Kevlar. Um, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up here. All right. Oh yeah, she got jumbled up pretty good. Every time I shoot this, it uh, <clears throat> the force because the Kevlar just pretty much distributes it evenly across. Alrighty, uh, sorry about that. Uh, batteries died when I was out shooting. Uh, but I brought this inside. I'm gonna kinda take it apart the way I found it. Uh, see here's the hole where it went in, right there. <clears throat> it then punched through this little, little uh, shell for the uh, Kevlar itself. And I pulled out the Kevlar, and this is where the 10 millimeter hit. Uh, that's a really good contact there, and here is the bullet. So imagine that. Um, <clears throat> it didn't actually penetrate any layers of the Kevlar itself. Uh, I mean, it just deformed it and kind of pressed it in there pretty good, but it did not penetrate. Uh, comparatively, I don't know, <laughs> here's some of the other shots I've taken at it before. Gotten some penetration from other ones, but, and it could have been what I've been was using as a stop. It probably took a lot of the force uh, versus something more solid. Um, but, and here's a close-up of the, uh, the bullet there. I don't know if you can see it. It has the indentations of uh, the Kevlar print on the head of the bullet itself. And it kind of mushroomed out. You can see the rifling on the sides. And how it deformed. But, so, that was pretty cool. Alright, thanks for watching.